Let's do it. What's up? Simply Sasha 404 here, and today I have a review for you guys, and I'm super excited. I love doing reviews because I feel like um, it's just very informational on products that uh, probably are not that reviewed on YouTube, or just to get everybody's opinion because maybe somebody has the same skin type as you, or same type of general anything. Maybe you guys, maybe we're kind of the same. Like I relate to Miss. Glamorazzi's video Ingrid on YouTube videos because I feel like we have the kind of the same skin type and things like that So I really like her um, Opinions and reviews on things. So yeah, I'm just gonna get started into the video So today's review is going to be on a foundation and I haven't seen a lot on YouTube Maybe there is now I have no idea, but um, I'm gonna be doing a review on the new NYX Invincible fullest coverage foundation and it just looks like this and it's in this little bottle and um, it has point zero point eighty five fluid ounce. So I mean, a lot go a little goes a long way, like a teeny bit. I always pour out too much, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's super fantastic coverage that leaves skin satin matte and flawless. So online it says that it's matte. Um, this is saying that it is satin matte and flawless. This is how it looks. It's a pretty tiny bottle. Um. It's like a little smaller than my hand, I guess. That's how it looks. And it's just a squeezy tube, which pumps are better, but squeezy tubes aren't that bad either. So this is how that looks. So I have every, I have like some notes on my iPad, so I'm gonna get into it. So the price for this, I ordered this off of the website. Um, I did not see it in the stores. So, in my store is where I live, so I ordered off the website, and besides, I wanted to order. Because you, if you sign up with NYX, I'll leave their um, website down below. If you sign up with NYX, they do a welcome percentage. They do a 25% off um, off your order. So, heck yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm going to order off of NYX, and I love their lip butters. I'm wearing one today, and I'm obsessed with their lip butters. So, NYX products in general, and I bought I just bought a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, the price is twelve dollars. Um, the claims it claims to be a full coverage, soft matte or semi matte finish, and light and comfortable to wear. So I will agree with two of those things: light and comfortable to wear, and full coverage. Um, some people think it's not full coverage. To me, it's pretty full coverage. Here, I'll come up a little closer to you. Um, it covers up, I don't have huge dark circles, but it does cover up them a little bit. To me, it's full coverage, so I like it. Um, okay, so, and it's light and comfortable. I barely feel that I'm wearing it. It is very light, um, once you buff it out and blend it out and you're wearing it, it's really, really light and comfortable to wear. I don't feel like, I honestly forget that I'm wearing it sometimes. So, um... The next thing it says it's a soft matte finish or sem or satin matte. This thing is not satin or semi matte or semi satin matte. This thing is really dewy. It has a dewy finish. But when you um set it with a powder, then it becomes matte. I have a matte. It's not even. It becomes you know more matte. I am wearing a powder with it. I'm wearing it today. Um. Let's see. I'm like all over the place. Sorry. Okay. I have a video that I will include. It kind of has me talking in it. So I don't know if I'm going to show me talking or I'm just going to show the video. But it has a vi I have a video of me um, applying it. So I'll insert it now. This. So I'm going to go ahead and dot this all over. No? Okay. Just going to use the viewfinder because I forgot to get a mirror. Okay. So. Let me zoom in a little. We're gonna go ahead. Mm. First off, I'm just showing you guys how this applies. So, this is how it looks. This really, um, pretty much matched my skin very well. A lot of times, drugstore foundations don't really. I probably put a lot, but it's gonna blend it. Oh. 
Okay, this claims um, to be a matte foundation. Clearly can see that this is not matte. Um, I have so much dewiness on my cheeks, my nose, my face, and this. But it does say to use with a... It does say to use with a powder, so I'm going to go ahead and take my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. And I recently just got this. I'm trying out some more drugstore stuff. Go ahead and mattify my face. Hmm. Okay. That's better. It did um, mattify it. But I mean, if it claims to be matte, I would think it will be matte before you know before the um but powder i thought it would be like matte by itself if it's a matte foundation so yeah after, as you can guys as you guys can see i applied it and it was like really really dewy it does say to use with a primer i did use a primer and i've been using the l'oreal revita lift miracle blur but I've been using this, so I've been thinking since it's a sunscreen, sunscreen, maybe this was making my foundation more dewy. So today, and I think the other day, I tried the Marabella um, primer, and it was still dewy. Um, a little maybe less, but it was still dewy. Um, so I set it with um, a powder, and the powder that I use is the e.l.f. High Definition Powder, which this stuff is great. I really, really like it. Really like it. Um... I set it with that and it made this outcome which is like it's more matte and I really really like it. It looks really really pretty. Um, I got compliments on this foundation saying that it looks, I look like I'm glowing and I just love it. I, I'm wearing it in my last video, um, the girl powder tag. I really like it and I'm just obsessed with it right now. Um, so I am combination skin. I'm oily to dry. I get oily especially on my nose. My, oil, my nose is oily bear <laughs> been watching a lot of julie's life but it's really really oily on my um nose and i can get oily on my cheeks and my forehead but um yeah i i mean i wear it all day. i've worn it literally yesterday i went to the studio i sing and i was there from 1 to um like 9 30 and i didn't have to touch up with um powder it stayed on after i set it the first time usually i do have to set up with powder but it's kind of cold now so Anyways, but yeah, I really, really like this foundation. It's really nice. Um, I am in the shade Coco 15, which is the darkest shade that they have available. And this is more like a red. It has more um, red undertones in it. It's more of a reddish foundation. And that's good for me because I have red undertones. I'm more warm, like really warm. Um, I am a NW50 in the MAC powder and an NW50... Yeah, and the powder, and then I'm a number nine in the Matchmaster Foundation by MAC, if that helps. Um, I think I'm the darkest shade in the CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation, if that helps too. And also the darkest shade in the CoverGirl 3-in-1. It's like right there, because I wore it um, the other day, because I wanted to, I'm going to do a review on that and another foundation. So, I was wearing that. But, um... Yeah, I really like it. I ordered it off the website. Like I said, they do have more um, foundations. And I was going to get the other one. But the other one was more um, yellow tone. It was dark. It was dark. But it had more of like a yellow undertone. Um, so I didn't get it. Um, so yeah, the thing that I used to apply it the first time. I used my Real, Tec my Real Techniques Ace Expert brush. But I think I'm just liking this for blending out my concealer under my eyes and things like that and I have used it today for like some blush my cream blush which was nice and then for the foundation that I really like the foundation I really like applying it with my F80 flat top kabuki brush I need to get more of these brushes like I want to try the Sedona lace um type of brush like these and yeah I'm not gonna I'm gonna order those really soon but I really liked using this. It really blends it out and buffs it out really, really nice. These brushes are really, really soft, by the way. So, yeah, I really like that. Um, That's about it. Overall, I would say to try it. I really like it. It is really flawless. It's really, really smooth. Um, I just really like it. I would recommend it. I'll have the link down below to this. And, 
yeah that's basically it i hope this wasn't a super long video um i don't feel like it was uh basically that's everything i believe um it is full coverage it's not really that matte that's the only thing i think that's uh, misleading it's really not it's really dewy um you saw the video uh, maybe it's maybe it'll be different on other skin types but to me it's not i know i keep looking in the viewfinder but i'm just looking at the sorry i thought my phone was ringing i'm just looking at the finish and stuff like that um it does yeah so it says to it does say apply to face over primer using fingers makeup sponge or brush to maximize coverage and it does say set with the powder so at least it tells you to use a primer and set with the powder so you can't say it didn't work if you tried you know otherwise so yeah uh thank you guys so 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 much for watching let me know if you guys found this in your drugstore leave it down below because maybe other people would like to know where they can get it also check out my links i have a twitter and check out my music channel thank you guys so so much for watching check out my last video it was awesome if you guys have any requests let me know um i think my next video is going to i'm not even sure what my next video is gonna be i have a few things in mind so you just have to wait and see um so yeah i want to do a collab video really bad um if you guys know jessica lane here on youtube tell her i want to collab with her so yeah anyways thank you guys so 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 much for watching i'll see you guys on my next video love you guys